two men on a journey of self-exploration, one trying to emerge from the challenges of autism, the other, living under the weight of a famous father, have a chance encounter that, as Michelle McCormack shows us, could only have been orchestrated by fate. If you don't mind taking, do you prefer to speak? Hey, AJ, hello. How are you? I'm Michelle McCormick. This is Eric Lowe. I am so honored to meet you, oh, AJ. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Hey, Joe. A chance meeting between two musicians tied together through the music of Jim Croce. Creek's Eric Look plays Jim Croce music as a way to connect with the world outside of his autism spectrum. Croce's son AJ now bringing some of his father's favorite hits with his own songs on his latest tour that made this introduction possible recently at the South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center. I'm really good at playing piano. Good, good. Well, how long have you been doing it? Well, I've been doing it for, like, many years. Yeah. Most of your life? <laughs> yeah, do you most just, of my life. Do you hear it? Yeah. Hear it, in, hear it in your head? Yeah. I do. Me too. AJ Croce has experienced a lifetime of comparisons with his father, who died in a plane crash when AJ was just two. He managed to find his own voice, but in the process of self-exploration has come to realize that means singing some of his dad's tunes, too. It's two generations of, of Croce's looking at, at American music. Um, my father's uh, generation, um, my father listened to all kinds of music that I listened to. Uh, strangely, we had many of the same influences, but they were older influences. I listened to uh, some of my grandparents' influences. In fact, I didn't even talk about my dad in interviews on The Tonight Show or any of those shows that I did. Uh, for most of my career, it was just, um, I got to a place where I was, I, I you know, could accept, um, I guess, my own um, identity. And um, part of that was, was my father. Similarities in voice are undeniable, but A.J. is a piano man first and foremost, it appears. While his father was that everyday man, singer, songwriter known for his guitar playing. I'm trying to do something that, uh, you know, that makes other people happy. And I think that um, by doing that, it makes me happy. You know, um, I feel like I spent 20 years of touring without ever touching any of my father's material and um, picked up the guitar late in life. And, and, and it, you know, it wasn't a challenge as a piano player, but when I switched to the guitar, it became a totally different thing. And I started uh, sort of being attracted to that um, challenge of playing all these fingerstyle pieces of music. All regrets. Just um, have always dug music, regardless of genre. And so we cover a lot of different uh, territory, uh, you know, switching from, from piano to guitar and, and uh, playing all different kinds of, of R&B and, and rock and roll and, you know, old blues and country blues. And the journey for Eric Look began as a child with a diagnosis of classic autism. Extreme sound sensitivity kept Eric from truly connecting with the world until his uncle Joe stumbled upon Eric playing on an electric keyboard. For years, they played at autism fundraisers and Christmas shows where Eric would write his own holiday melody. One of the biggest honors came at Miller Park this year during Autism Awareness Day, where I had the pleasure of singing along with him. Autistic recording artist, Mr. Eric it all culminated this past summer when Eric headlined the Harley Davidson Roadhouse on Family Day at Summerfest. And then this, the chance to meet the son of the man whose music has given him so much. And um, Eric never got to meet Jim, but he got to meet his son, AJ. And AJ is, in his own right, is a very talented musician also. Um, and Eric getting to be with both of these types of people, uh, listening to Jim's music and, and meeting AJ, I think it's, it's really something. Well, it's kind of exciting. I've listened to his CD, and it's got a lot of great songs like Got to Get Out of My Head and Cures Just Like Medicine and Full Up and The Heart That Makes Me Whole and so on. Yeah, I feel some 
AJ Croce covers coming on, maybe at your next Summerfest gig? Yeah, perhaps. I think it's a connection that we have as people, you know. Um, you know, there's just a commonality. Um, it's Music is one of the few things that we don't ever need to argue about. If I could save time in a bottle. Now, having released his ninth studio album, A.J. Croce of 45 has lived 15 years beyond his father. He's come to terms with his legacy while writing his own narrative and has come to expect that on the road, these momentary connections that only music can bring. Just we can um, be together and uh, enjoy uh, the moment. And um, I think it brings more people together than, than, than uh, just about anything.